the Joe Rogan experience. There's a lot of people that they learn how to deal with life through the struggle of jiu-jitsu because the struggle of training is so much harder than most of the struggles that you face in your daily life. It makes you more accustomed to dealing with uncomfortable Man, positions. I, I will tell you a funny story that what jiu-jitsu does for you. I, my, my older daughter had some uh, health issues like at 2 o'clock in the morning, something like that, and uh, called the doctor and said, look, I got to go and get this inhaler or something at the pharmacy. Man, I was wearing my pajamas, driving crazy to the pharmacy. And as I'm walking in, have a guy walking out and bumping his shoulder on mine. And, hey, son of a D, is F you? And I said, man, 2 30 in the morning, want to fight? Go home. Go to your wife, dude. Then the guy, no, I'm going to wait for you. Then he's outside. I go get the medication. I put this stuff in. Say, man, get the guy outside. He's no longer there. Several months later, the same guy show up in my school. <laughs> and I did not recognize him, but he keeps staring at me. And I approach, hey, how are you? Have you trained jiu-jitsu before? He's like, do you remember me? Did you train here before? No. I bump into you in the pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like, thank you for not hurting me. <laughs> and, I, and I goes like, man, what happened to you? He's like, oh, my father passed away uh -huh. a day before. I was so depressed, uh -huh. so... The point for me was, with jiu-jitsu, I can walk away from something like that, and I feel sorry for the guy. Yeah, I'm not concerned. Oh, I'm afraid of him. No, I'm not afraid. It's just the fact that I'm saving him to get hurt. Right. Today, he is one of my best friends. He's my lawyer. Wow. My dear friend. He's been training jiu-jitsu for since that time, almost as 20 years. Wow. But I remember that day walking in, and the guy bumped into <laughs> me. I want to fight. Wow. And it's like, man, I walk away. No, 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 you're too strong for me, man. Go home and <laughs> relax. Get that, your wife. That's here. the difference, too, between jujitsu and kickboxing. Because kickboxing, you, you can only hurt somebody. You can't really, like, hold on to him and go, hey, hey, hey. You ever well, see he the video? He was already hurt, man. You ever see the video? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> he was already Emotionally, hurt. right? You ever see the video of Matt Serra? Uh, Matt Serra uh, was in uh, uh, an altercation with some drunk guy. In a, in a bar or a restaurant or something like that. I think I saw that. And it's been Matt, a while. Matt just took the guy down, mounted him, and he's just holding on to his wrist. And he's like, calm down, calm down. And the employers are like trying to figure out what to do. He's like, he's fine, he's fine, calm down. But, you know, Matt didn't hurt him. He just held on to him and, and basically just mounted him and grabbed a hold of his wrists and was controlling him. And Man, when, when we say jiu-jitsu is a gentle art, yeah. we mean that. Yes. Jiu-Jitsu will give you the choice to choose to hurt someone or not. Yeah. And I think more you train, you realize that that person has something already going on in their life. Right. And we choose not to. Yeah. I mean, we grew up in our time, and it's funny. We're teenagers in no Jiu-Jitsu tournaments, and then we go, like, how are we going to test ourselves? And back in those days in Brazil, we have some fun time. We go to a nightclub, and fight breaks through, and... Here we are practicing our jiu-jitsu, <laughs> but not hurting anybody. And not because we choose or somebody provoke. No, we get people coming towards us because we're always little guys. We're never right. the biggest guys in the place. Then we just make sure, like, man, we take them down, hold, choke somebody out, but no scratch. <laughs> and on the end, those people become students of our school. Right. How those little it. kids yeah. can do that to us. Right. And that's one way that's funny in the 80s that jiu-jitsu became even bigger. With some of the altercation on the street, we convinced the person that we just fought, we just choked, to come and become our student. Because <laughs> you didn't hurt them. And then like, right. man, they, and they end up coming and yeah. learn that. They feel humiliated, but at least they, they feel thankful that you didn't injure them. Uh, for sure, yeah. And, yeah. And in a fight, man, that, I think jiu-jitsu gives you that sense of control. Yes. That you have... You have that choice. Well, this is the way I always explain to people. I say, if I'm in a street fight with someone and they're swinging, if it's a strong person, if it's a strong person, they're a good athlete, and they have strong arms, and they're, they're throwing punches at me, if I get hit, I'm in trouble. No matter who you are, if you get hit, you're in trouble. Most likely, I won't get hit if I know how to, how to fight and I keep my hands up and I move right. But if I get a hold of you, you're not doing anything to me. Like, there's a difference between, like, someone who's untrained and someone who's trained. Like, if a jiu-jitsu black belt grabs a person and gets all, actually gets control of them, there's no lucky – you're not going to luckily submit me. 
You know, it's not going to happen. But you can luckily, you could hit someone. It can happen in a street fight. If someone has a little bit of speed and they have power and there's a strong person, they can hit you. It's, and, it's much more dangerous. And, and that's the only, and we asked when it trained, it was the only opportunity our opponent has is before we close the distance. Right. That's the danger zone. And if you think for a second, a lot of things that we do on the ground in jiu-jitsu, you just bring those two people up in the close distance. It's the same thing. Mm. And a lot of people today, they don't do the same. They're trying to fight standing when they hold, different than when you're on the ground. The way you move your legs, the way you play guard, it's the same thing when you're standing, work on the people's body as a hook, as a sweep to make somebody fall. And, uh, and we learned that when we get close to someone, we make the size not be affected as much as could if you have a distance. Mm. 